I am going to work on cutting the transmission tunnel and the firewall and rolling this into the Subaru.
there it is T56 6 liter V8 in the Subaru it is not a direct fit it is not a bolt in I had to remove all of the transmission tunnel uh, I'm gonna have to remove even more I do not have the transfer case on the back of the transmission it is going to make this a very tight fit I am moving the center line of the engine about two inches over to the passenger side and I may end up moving it even more I may move it three or four inches over that's about as good as it'll fit with the transfer case if this were just a T56 this would be a lot easier one problem I have though is that I cannot put this engine as low in the chassis as someone with just a T56 could so this whole engine transmission assembly is going to sit probably three inches higher than a standard fitment with a standard T56 or TR6060 but I knew that and I'm okay with that to compensate for that I will lower the car another couple inches right now I have about five inches of ground clearance I could get away with three I don't do a lot of city driving meaning I don't go through parking lots with speed bumps so I can get away with it being extra low to get the center of gravity down uh, but I like it I am pleased with it this is where the shifter is going to be it'll have an offset lever I still have to swap in some manual transmission pedals this one has the automatic pedal so it's extra big but I will still have enough room to have a gas pedal brake pedal and a clutch pedal maybe not exactly in the stock location I may have to move them over an inch or two my only real concern is that with the transmission being right here and the clutch being really close to my feet I'm going to have to put in a lot of extra steel on this side I did not buy a an SFI bell housing because they're seven hundred dollars and if somebody wants to give me one I'll put it in here but for now I will do two layers of uh, plate steel on this side of the firewall once I build the firewall out of uh, standard gauge sheet metal I'm going to use 18 for all of this because it needs to be structurally sound and what was in here was probably 22 gauge but there were multiple layers of it so I'm going to go with 18 and then of course this car is getting a roll cage uh, so I will have three floor bars uh, once I get the sheet metal done I'll, I'll bend and put the hoops over the floor or put the bars over the floor and then gusset them to the floor it's all in I like it and next video I will work on fine-tuning the opening in the firewall cut up real close to the windshield so that I have enough room for my intake manifold which should be here in another couple of days so thank you for watching there it is 6 liter LS T56 uh, with the front differential lined up with the front axles.